Hey guys, my name's Jamin. This is my YouTube channel, PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of do-it-yourself computer upgrade and repair videos. The computer I have with me now is a Lenovo Yoga 11E Chromebook. In this video, I'll show you how to perform a full teardown or disassembly on this computer. As always guys, if you have any questions, please check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you don't see your question there, you need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Okay, so the first thing to do before getting into any computer, we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna make sure that it's unplugged. We want as little power running through the computer as possible uh, to limit the chances of damaging anything. The next thing you do when taking apart a computer is take out your battery. In this case, the battery is inside the computer. So we'll have to remove this panel and get into the computer to get at the battery. As you can see, the computer is also sitting on an anti-static pad. Um, either an anti-static pad or an anti-static bracelet is a good idea to also limit the chances of damaging any of your components. As a reminder guys, if you need any help finding any equipment or tools that I use in my videos, there'll be a link up here. I'll also include the link down bottom in the description. It'll help you out finding that stuff if you need it. So to get inside this computer now, we have four screws up here on the bottom case, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six screws on the panel. There are also two screws here, one of which you can see, the other one you can see it um, how you're most likely going to see it. It's got some black tape covering it uh, to try to hide it. So we're going to go ahead now and remove all these screws with our screwdriver. Another tip guys, make sure when you're going into any computer that you keep the screws separate from each other. Not all screws are the same size. Screws to different components may be different lengths and different widths. So make sure that you keep the screws separate when you go to put your computer back together. So when I was new at computer repair, one of the tricks I did is I wrote out sticky notes for each component that had screws, bottom case, keyboard, things like that. And I'd make sure to keep the screws that went to the bottom case here so that when I was putting the computer back together, I didn't use the wrong screws for the wrong item. To get this piece of rubber out, I'll take a small flathead screwdriver and I'll just stab it right down in there pry it out, try not to damage it too much. These are usually just held in with double-sided tape. They'll pop back in as long as you don't damage them too much. Okay, so after taking up all those screws, we're gonna take our flat pry tool. We're gonna to go across the seam and pick it up. And you may find that some screws are still screwed down a little bit. There we go. And that comes off like that. So here now you have access to your battery and your Wi-Fi card. I'll zoom in so you can see the battery better. So your battery, it looks like, is held in by these two screws uh, and then just a plug. So to take your battery out, we're just going to remove these two screws. So the battery plug is just a straight plug. It's just pushed straight in. There's no pins or clips or anything holding it. So lift the battery up a little bit, we'll take it out, and then we'll pull back on that plug. And it should come right out like that. To remove your Wi-Fi card, this is pretty standard. The Wi-Fi card is held in by one screw and two antenna wire. We're gonna take our plastic pry tool. We're gonna pop up the antenna wires. They come up fairly easily. Now to undo the Wi-Fi card, that screw is actually a hex screw. So you may have trouble getting it out with the same screwdriver you used earlier, but the hex screw will come out and the Wi-Fi card will just pop up and then you slide it out. Now to continue further into the computer, there are several screws everywhere that we're going to have to take out. Uh, plus you have to take your Wi-Fi wires, or your antenna wires rather, and run those out of their channels uh, to where they enter. So the black one will go to there, the gray one or the white one will go there. And now to get more into the computer, you'll see screws here, here, uh, you'll see some screws there, there, there there, two screws there. Uh, so go across, there's another one there, go across, remove your screws. You don't have to do the CPU screws yet for the heatsink, uh, but we'll take off all of these screws uh, to get further into the computer. Those of you looking for RAM, as you can see here, the RAM is integrated into the motherboard. Uh, you cannot easily remove or add RAM to this computer, uh, so that's why you don't see the RAM stand out right there. One thing to shout out, if you notice these screws here, they were uh, wide and flat and silver. These are referred to as M2 times two screws. The normal looking black ones that are a little longer, 
those are referred to as the M2-4. So that kind of helps you know which screws go in which holes, M24, M24, and those flat ones were the M22s. So now that all those screws are removed, we're gonna flip the computer over, open it up as much as we can. We're gonna now get at the keyboard. So to get at our keyboard, we're gonna take our flat metal pry tool. We're gonna go at the bottom and gently pry it up. As you can see, it comes up fairly easily, slides out of the front. So after it pops up, we'll take it out of the top and just spin it down nice and gently, and you'll see that the ribbon cable is connected to the motherboard here. I'll zoom in so I can show you how to take that off. Okay, so this is a very standard ribbon cable clip. It's got a black pin that's connected to the white port that the ribbon cable goes into. The black plastic pin or clasp folds down to hold the ribbon cable in and then pops up to release the ribbon cable. So we're gonna take our plastic pry tool, the flat end, we're gonna get underneath it and pop that clip up. And then this should slide right out. And then for safety, we're just gonna pop that back down so it lies flat so it can't get caught on anything. So to now get further into our computer, before we can separate the palm rest and the bottom case, there's a few screws under the keyboard that we'll have to get at. Oh, actually there's four. One there, 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 and there. I'll go ahead and take those out now. Also, as you can see, there's a ribbon cable here that comes up over the panel and plugs in. We're gonna separate that the same way we did the keyboard one. I take my plastic pry tool, put it underneath that clip, pop it up, so I can slide out the ribbon cable. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna pop that back down so it doesn't get caught on anything. I'll do the same over here. This is probably going to your touchpad. I'll take out this. Put that back down again. And there's one last ribbon cable here, just in case I'll take that up. You're always better safe than sorry. There's some black plastic tape there, so just keep that in mind. Pop that up, and now it's loose. So now that all three of those are out, I'm gonna take my metal pry tool. I'm gonna to go around the seam of the palm rest and the bottom case and gently pry it up. So now to go around the seam, just pop it up like that. Be careful to not go too far in as you could damage some components. Seems like that's pretty much up. So the palm rest is now loose, but if you flip it over, you'll see the speaker wires. Those are your speakers, and the speaker wire is still plugged into the motherboard, so you can't just rip it off. I'll zoom in on that port and show you how to disconnect it. So this plug just plugs straight into the port. Again, there's no clasps or clips or anything. So what you would do is you would take your fingernails, and just put them on either side of the white port and pull out, or you can go one end at a time. It's actually kind of tight in there, so I'm gonna use the flat end of my pry tool and just push out like that. And there are your speakers right there. They come up with two screws. The wire runs there, and now that we've done that, the palm rest is free. On the palm rest, there's your touchpad assembly. You can see the ribbon cable going from it up to the motherboard. The touchpad assembly is held on by two screws here, and four screws down there. So we'll go ahead and take that up now. Now that that's done, I'm gonna unplug my ribbon cable. I'll zoom in and show you how to do that. So the ribbon cable is kind of backwards from what you would expect or what we saw with the other ribbon cables. Here, the clip is on the reverse side from the ribbon cable. So instead of popping up the clip here, we're gonna put our pry tool on this side, pop up that black clip, and then the ribbon cable can be released. And I'm gonna put it back down for safekeeping so it doesn't get caught. But that's how you would release that. In order to get the rest of the touchpad up, you'll see these bright silver stickers here. And it's stuck on top of here, on top of here, and then on top of these two. So to get this up, you have to fight um, the sticker. So we'll just peel this up here. And as you see, that breaks that sticker a little bit and then it comes loose there. We're just gonna set that off to the side. There's your mouse click buttons and the click feature, and this is the rest of your touchpad. So that's how it would come up. And as you can see, it's stuck there. So you can just rip that up um, if you're replacing this, it's not gonna hurt anything. And then to get it back down, you'd set that into place. You'd bring this shield back over, get it underneath that clip right there, and then set that down in place. Make sure that the stickers are all out of the way and all your screw holes are available. And then you would put your screws back in. 
So keep in mind when putting this back in, you're gonna have four smaller screws. Those screws are gonna go along the bottom and then you're gonna have two wider screws. Those wider screws will go up top here. Once the screws are in, we're gonna come back here. We're gonna pop up the black clip, slide this back into the port. Make sure it's flush and flat and then snap that back down. And that's how you reinstall your touchpad. So now to get the motherboard out, there's a screw here and you can see the little white triangle that's pointing toward the motherboard screw. It's a nice aid when you're looking for motherboard screws or where to put them back in to reinstall it. So we're gonna take out that single screw there. There's another screw here that's not necessarily in your motherboard, but it's in your fan, and that fan is attached to your motherboard. So we're gonna to have to take that fan screw up. And then there's one more screw here that we've gotta take up over by your USB and your power jack. And the other screw is right there. Now that shield comes up. Make sure to keep all these components off to the side so you know how to put them back together. Now you can grab it here, lift up on the motherboard like that. Now to get your motherboard up, I'm gonna pull on this port. That comes right up like that. Same one with the LCD cable, you just pull. That comes right up. And then the power button port unplugs by pulling out. So now we can put this off to the side. So now to get the LCD assembly off, we're going to have to unscrew all of our hinges. So now the LCD assembly is free. We're just going to pop it up. We're going to take out our cords that are run through here to free it up. There's our an antenna cord needs to be run out. Our LCD cable and then the other antenna wire comes out this way. There you go. And now your LCD assembly is free. Okay, so here's our LCD assembly. There will be two screws there underneath black stickers. And then we're gonna take our flat metal pry tool, go around the seam of the bezel and the top case and pry those apart. Again, be careful not to put your tool too far in. While prying up the bezel, you don't want to damage the LCD. A lot of these bezels are held on by double-sided tape once you get the screws out. So you could just go down like I'm doing and release it. Just try not to crack your bezel by folding it too much. And the bezel just comes off like that. Here we have your LCD, your webcam, your antennas, this one going down to the black wire, this one going down to the gray or white wire. We have your hinges. You'll have two screws here and two screws here holding the LCD to the hinge assembly. Um, it looks like this computer has been worked on before because both of those screws are gone. But after you take off these four screws, you'll be able to lift up your LCD, flip it right over, and unplug it from there. I'll zoom in now and show you how to unplug your LCD. So here's your LCD cable. Many of you will see this. You'll see the sticker coming down over it, holding it down. We're going to get that sticker up. Again, it looks like this has been replaced before. So that sticker's up. And then there's a bar, there's a gold bar or brass bar that goes around the port that locks it in. Once that bar is popped up, the LCD cable can now slide outward from the port. Just gonna pull back on it and use my flathead and gently push off on one end, push off on the other end. And that's how you unplug the LCD. If you're looking for a part number, you'll see your standard Lenovo part number here, 00HM194. That's one way you would look for an LCD. Another way you would look for the LCD is the size of the LCD. Also keep in mind you need to have the LCD port in the same location on your replacement LCD. LCD cables are made to only be able to reach one spot on your LCD. So you won't be able to plug it in here or here or anywhere else. You need an LCD with the port found there. You'll also have to know whether this is a 30 or 40 pin connector when replacing an LCD. One way is to just count the pins uh, so you don't have to do that. It's hard to see. This is a 30 pin port. So to put this back in, we'll take our port. We'll hold it down steady. We'll take our LCD cable and we'll slide the two into each other like that. I'll zoom in for you. We'll take our LCD cable, put it down next to it so it's flush, slide it right in. It's just as easy as that. And then you take that metal bar, slide it down over, push it down in there, lock it in place. And then for added protection, make sure that sticker is back down where it should be. And you can simply flip your LCD over, put it back in place. 
Now you would replace these four screws. I didn't have any, so I'm not gonna replace those. I'm gonna take my bezel, bring it back over, snap it down in place. Then you would put these two screws back in. If you save those two black stickers, put those back. Again, my computer was already gone into and whoever did it didn't put these back, so I'm done, but you would put those screws back. Okay, so that's our video. Pretty simple operation if you know what you're getting into, if you have the right tools. Uh, again, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please do so. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.